Hey guys, what's up? Uh, sorry for the late installment, but uh, this is the second part of the Pokemon script tutorial. Um, I'm working on getting these done a lot quicker now. Uh, I'm actually working on getting them done either by the end of this week or uh, or something like that. But I'll have I'll have a few more videos by the end of the week. So, um, holy crap! Hello, it's my brother. Hello, brother. Doing. A vid B or B. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Notepad, right? All right, so we're going to actually. First of all, I should sign out of my MSN and stuff, so you guys don't uh, see any more the IMs pop up. Okay, so we're gonna start with the exact same thing. Come on, who close? Thank you. We're gonna start with the exact same thing that we had before. We're gonna start with uh, binary org, and then offset script and this is going to set the script next we're going to put lock face play not g face player it's going to make them lock and face you i've explained this in the last one you might want to review on the last one just in case and since it's a question you're going to go offset question this is going to set the script to tell them that you're setting a question script and now you're going to define question so you're going to put question, space, one, space, equals, uh, another space, and then you're going to put your question. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to put, uh, did you subscribe to GLS? Question mark. All right, so there's my question. Did you subscribe to GLS? Next, you're going to put box set five. Last tutorial, if you remember, we put box set six. In box set 5, all this does is going to make it set up so it's a yes or no question. It's going to make the little yes or no box appear. And that's just a totally different script. If you put 6, this is going not even going to be able to make you a total yes or no question. It's going to make it look like the guy's going to walk up to you and say, Did you subscribe to GLS? And then it's going to close. Or, or you'll have an error. Or it'll continue on randomly. Or something bad will happen and that's not what you guys want. So now you're going to see something completely new again. And this one is compare 0x800 capital D. Notice those zeros are, it's like zero as in the number, not O as in orange, it's zero. Next you're going to put 0x0001. And all that does is tell the, the game to search for what the player clicked. So if you click yes, this command makes it say, okay, he clicked yes. If you click no, it's going to say, all right, he clicked no. So now you're going to put if 0x01 go to offset yes. And all that says is if it's if you click yes, it's going to go to the yes section of this script. So it's going to skip the rest of the script and go to yes. And it's just going to set it for whatever you set for yes which we'll do in a second so let's set no so you're gonna put message offset no then you're gonna put offset no one oh sorry space one space equals space and then you're gonna set your no message so I'm gonna put then what are you waiting for let me change that to a question mark I didn't mean to put that to a slash Next, you're going to hit enter and you're going to go to box set six because this is a response and you want it to be a normal box of text when you respond. And then release end. That's going to leave your player so he can move around again. All right, next, you're going to start the next script. And to do this, you're going to do yet another binary org. And then you're going to put offset yes, then message offset yes one enter offset yes one space one space equals space and then put your yes so my answer for when the person clicks yes is you did great next I'm gonna put box set six because that's again it's a normal text box then release and then end this is your script for a yes or no question this is it now these do get very lengthy if you want them to be like if you want them 
to receive an item, if you want them to uh, take an item from you, if you want them to, uh, you know, do all those kinds of different things. Um, there are ways to put it so it's more than just yes and no. There is a way to put it so you can put yes, no, or maybe, or uh, if you wanted to do trivia, you could do uh, answers A, B, C, or D. You could always do that. So I will teach you guys that in a different video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and file and save this one. And we're going to save this as yes, no. Yes, no, dot RBC. And next you're going to click save. Don't forget that it needs to be an RBC file. If it's not RBC, it won't save as a script file and you won't be able to compile it. So go ahead and close this, and what you're going to do is you're going to right-click and compile script. Consider you still have all the pocket script and stuff that you did from the last tutorial. This window will pop up, this familiar window that you had from before. Click the blue book and find your ROM. For me, it's going to be in my VBA stuff, Pokemon Fire Red. Next, you're going to take this window and click the flashlight. And you can select any one of these numbers. These are all the open scripts in the game. So I'm going to pick the top one. And I'm going to highlight this 800,000 whatever number and copy. Remember guys, you have to copy this. Don't forget to copy. And then you're going to go ahead and click assign. Now you're going to click file, burn. And it's going to burn it into the game. Now, like I said in my last video, I wouldn't close these windows if I were you. I've had it happen where I've closed it. Some people make can do it just fine, but my computer it gets an error every time so I'm just gonna make sure that I don't do it wrong so I'm gonna leave them open and I'm gonna open advanced map and I'm gonna load my ROM so here's my fire red again and uh, this is just a review on how to install I'm gonna do this in every video so you can go ahead and skip this if you want but I'm gonna go to three pallet town can't believe I still remember this stuff alright next I'm gonna go to let me maximize this next I'm gonna click sprites and I'm going to go to let's see we need a new person so I have to because this is a fresh one so um, I'm gonna go down here amount of people change events there was my person I set him outside again you can change this again to anything you want I'm gonna have it to uh, walk around he's going to be this script offset right here has to change to what you had it so I had 800,000 so that's gonna be the pace that's what you're going to paste in there. Next, you're going to click um, whatever sprite number you want. I'm going to put in, let's put a 46, a random number. Alright, so it's a girl. Oh. So you're going to change events. Next, you're going to go file to the top here and you're going to go save. And that should save your game, um, your files and everything in the game. Um, and that should put it so that way when you start the game, that person will be standing outside. So let me go ahead and skip ahead because I had to start a new game. So let me skip ahead and uh, get the game started for you. All right, guys. So here's the girl that we made. Um, let's walk up to her and test. It. Did you subscribe to GLS? Uh, I did. Mm -hmm. Yes. You did. Great. Thank you. I noticed so too. So you talk to him again. He said, "Did you subscribe to GLS?" He said, "No." He says, "No." Then what are you waiting for? And that's exactly what we put on the uh, on the script in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you subscribe, and I will get the next installment of uh, the Pokemon scripting tutorials uh, either very soon or by the end of the week at least I'll have another one. So um, if not. I'm very sorry for you guys. Uh, I will get one done either the start of next week or the end of this week. But, um, again, like I, ha I have a lot of schoolwork. So I hope you guys subscribe. I will make a new one pretty soon. See you guys later.